All right. <clears throat> Let's bring in our new church members. We've got three uh, coming to the church of Nazarene officially as a family of Christ. Jessica, Dorothy Gamble back there, and Annabelle McCoy. Come on up. Isn't this awesome? Man. Woo. Mm. Family and friends, whoever else wants to come, come on up. It's, you're going to come up anyway. We're going to shake their hand as a family of uh, the church. So come on up. We're going to do this. This is awesome. Mm. Well, I got something for you, so I'll get it ready. Come on up. Just stand right here. This is great. You are perfect, and you look marvelous, I must say. I tell you, I've had an awesome time spending time with these people, and you have too. And uh, Annabelle's been coming to this church for quite a while. Y'all know her very well. And she was going to the Frank Clay Church, and she came to me and said, Pastor, if you don't mind, I'm giving to the Frank Clay Church, and I come to your church. And I said, that's fine, Annabelle. And I said, we're all in the same family of God. And then she said, Pastor, I want to be a member of this church now. And I said, you know what, Annabelle? You always have been, and you always will be. But we're going to make it official today, hon. And so you can say, I go to the Farmington Church in Nazarene, and I'm a member. You know, what does it mean to be a member of this church? Well, it means a lot. It means that you are in agreement that we are God-fearing people. And we believe in Jesus Christ as Savior. And that He is holy. And we will see that demonstrated in this church and in our lives. And we've been set apart like the Israelites, you know. On the good side. <laughs> and uh, and we're going we're gonna to hold that up. You know, a lot of churches today just have church. And we uh, had a wonderful opportunity to uh, interview our one and only at the Credentials and Studies Board. Well, just the Studies Board part. Our Sarah Smuck. Reverend Sarah Smuck, by the way. And she's going, praise God. She's going through the course of study. And she's going to be an ordained minister of the Church of Nazarene in the days ahead. And uh, this is what she said. And uh, she said, I love the Church of Nazarene because they define what it means to be a Christian. And I like that. Other churches don't define it. They just go, you know. And th there are churches that do define it. And we do too. And we're part of that community. And uh, we're part of the people being set apart. And so, Annabelle and then our one and only Jessica Vaughn. And Jessica went to the membership class with us and, and, and didn't ask too many questions but plenty enough that kind of thing watched all the videos but uh, a, a wonderful lady comes to us with uh, an open heart and uh, God has just been working in her life and we're just so glad to have her and uh, she believes in the church of Nazarene and in this local church amen and here we have Dorothy and you all know Dorothy very well from the Bowling family and, and her and she comes to us from another denomination and she said to me one day she goes pastor I want to be a member of the church of Nazarene and I said well we want you to be one too amen and so we want to let her be recognized that this is her church and we are a family together you know what that means that means that when these guys get in a little trouble we're going to be there for them, spiritually, sometimes financially. You know, when I was a kid in the community, the adults always looked out for the kids, didn't they? They saw you hurt, they'd help pick you up. If you crashed your bike, they'd stop the car. Are you okay? And that went on, right? And love and grace and peace. The thing I didn't like, but it was for my own good, is when I became a teenager, when they saw me acting a fool, and they let my parents know about it. <laughs> they might even instruct me too. But I tell you what, it's nice to know that they were looking out for me now that I'm all grown up. Because they kept me from getting in some big trouble. So we're going to watch out for each other, amen? And we're going to do it with love and grace. And we're going to do it with Christ's help. And so today I just want to uh, read to you from the manual. And I'm going to ask you all a few questions. The first two you say I do and the last one you say I will. Okay? Unless you don't agree. <laughs> well, I believe we've been through this and you understand. It's embarrassing, yeah. It's your one embarrassing moment. We may not be more anymore. The privileges and blessings that uh, we have in association together in the church of Jesus Christ are very sacred and precious. 
There is in it such hallowed fellowship as cannot otherwise be known. <laughs> there is such helpfulness with brotherly watch, care, and counsel as be found only in the church. There is the godly care of pastors with the teaching of the word and the helpful inspiration of corporate worship. And there is cooperation and service accomplishing that which cannot otherwise be done. The doctrines upon which the church rests are essential to Christian experience. And so we now ask you these questions. In one God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. That the Old and New Testament scriptures given by plenary inspiration contain all truth necessary to faith and Christian living. That all humanity is born with a fallen nature and is therefore inclined to evil and that continually. That the final impotent are hopelessly and eternally lost. And the atonement through Jesus Christ is for the whole human race. And that whosoever repents and believes on the Lord Jesus Christ is justified, regenerated, and saved from the dominion of sin. Amen? That believers are to be sanctified holy subsequent to regeneration through faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. That the Holy Spirit bears witness to the new birth and also to the entire sanctification of believers. That our Lord will return, the dead will be raised, and final judgment will take place. So I ask you, do you hardly believe these truths? If so, answer, I do. Do you acknowledge Jesus Christ as your personal Savior? And do you realize that he saves you now? Desiring to unite with the church of the Nazarene, do you covenant to give yourselves to the fellowship and work of God in connection with it as set forth in a covenant of Christian character? And you'll be reminded of it because I've got one for you. And the covenant of the Christian conduct of the church of the Nazarene. Will you endeavor in every way to glorify God by a humble walk, a godly conversation, and holy service by devoting givingly of your means by faithful attendance upon the means of grace and abstaining from all evil will you seek earnestly to perfect holiness of heart and life in the fear of the Lord if so say I will well I welcome you to this church to its sacred fellowship responsibilities and privileges and may the great head of the church bless and keep you and enable you to be faithful in all good works that your life and witness may be effective in leading others to Christ and so with that said, it gives me great privilege to give you a certificate that you may keep at your Jessica. God bless you. Welcome to the Church of the Nazarene. I am so excited. Annabelle, God bless you and welcome to the Church of the Nazarene. I am equally excited. And Dorothy, God bless you. Welcome you to the Church of the Nazarene. Now you may forget from time to time when we talk all those big church words so you got your little cheat book it's called the manual of the church of the Nazarene and so place it in a place that you can look in it and read learn about the history more of the church that you already know or have forgotten and then look in there and find out what it means to be a holy people and then learn about our government and how we run and uh, see how we do things and why we do them you know why we do them <laughs> so we are organized <laughs> <laughs> that's a good plan isn't it and uh, God will direct us well I just want to pray for you so uh, and then I'm going to let all you come and shake their hand that'd be alright Nancy's going to play a little song for us and uh, we'll do that and so uh, would you just do this with me it may, if you are okay would you just extend a hand out as we just pray for them and so now let us pray Heavenly Father I thank you for these three you brought us into our charge Lord, it will be our joy, our duty, and uh, for us to look out for them. And Lord, to keep them in the graces. And Lord, uh, we just pray that uh, you will give us strength as we do it. That we will do it with love and compassion. And Lord, I believe with all my heart that they can do the same for us. As each of us are part of the kingdom of Christ. And so may we be family as one. As we extend our arms of grace and love. May the peace of God that surpasses all understanding come over them now and bless them. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And so now you are formerly members of the Church of the Nazarene. To God be the glory. Amen. All right. Cool. Don't go anywhere. 
We want everybody to shake your hand. And uh, so why don't you stand up and just come on around from this side and just come on through. That way, over there. There you go.